Assalamu alaikum students, this is Farwa Batool, your O-level computer science instructor and welcome to another video of chapter number 10, Boolean logic. We are doing activity 10.3. We are already done with question number 1, 2, 3 and 4. In this video, we will be doing question number 5 of this activity. The question says that write down a logic expression corresponding to the following truth table. In part A, you have to write down the logic expression for the given truth table and you have part B also, which says that show that the following logic expression produces the same output as your answer to part A above. Okay, so it is pretty easy. First, what you have to do, let's start with part A. In part A, you have to write down the logic expression of the given truth table. Okay, so it is just similar to part 4, uh, sorry, question 4 that we are done with previous in the previous video. So, let me tell you the steps of finding out logic expression from the truth table. First, you have to consider all those row, rows in which the output x has a value 1. Look at here, there are four rows and for them you have to consider the values of inputs. For row 1, let me just name them. It is row 1, row 2, let's say row 3 and row 4. You have four, four rows with output value 1. Considering row 1 which has value 0, 0, 0. Remember that it if the value is 0, you will write the input with not. So it, bec it becomes not A, not B, not C. For the first, let me just write it here. 0, 0. And you have to join them with an AND gate. A and D. A and D. Okay. Next we have for row 2, you have 0, 0, 1. So what you will do, you will be writing not A. Since A has a value 0, then not B. Since B has a value 0, and C will be written without not. And once you write that, then you have to join them with AND. We are done with row 2. Now row 3 has a value 1, 0, 0. Row 3 is this one with output value 1. So we can simply write it as A, since A has a value 1, then not B. And then not C. Once you write it, then you have to join them with an AND gate. A, N, D. Okay. The final row is 4 that has a value of 1, 0, 1. And we can write it as A, not B, and C. And we will join them through an AND gate. So once you are done with all of the expressions for each of these rows, now you have to join them through OR gate. So what I can do, I can simply erase these values. I can put the brackets on each of these logic expressions for individual rows. And I can join all of them through OR gate. Not A and not B and not C or with not A and not B and C or with A and not B and not C. Another or with A and not B and C. This is how you can write the logic expression for the given truth table. Now let's do part B. Part B says that you have to show that the logic expression, this one, that is given to you, 
has the same output as your answer to part A. Okay, so it's very simple. What you can do, you can produce to table for this particular expression that is given to you. Once you produce the truth table, then you can match column X or the final result of both of them. So let's do that. Let me quickly make truth table in Excel sheet and then share it with you. Okay, so here we go. This is the truth table that I have designed on Excel. Let me explain you all of these columns. Since we had three inputs in the first truth table ABC, so I have also considered three inputs here ABC. Next, I have look at your logic expression given. In the logic expression, the variables with not R, not A, look here, this is not A, this is not B, another not B. So it means you require two columns, one for not A and other for not B. Then next to it is you have to solve the brackets first. So this is one of your bracket. Sorry for this. Not A and not B. And this is your another bracket. A and not B. So I have written here. The first bracket is not A and not B. Once you will calculate the values of not A and not B, then you will find out the values of bracket 1. That is not A and not B, which is considered as input one for your OR gate and the other input for OR gate is A and not B which is your bracket 2 so it is here so once you find out the values of these brackets then you will perform an OR operation or addition between them so let's start with that okay so if you don't know how to write these eight combinations combinations for three input values so you have to see my previous videos it is pretty simple the formula is 2 raised to the power n where n is your number of inputs since we have a b c three input values so it will become eight combinations and the combinations needs to be different from one another this is how you can fill the table for a b c now let's quickly do for not a not a means that the value of variable a will be reversed so it becomes 1 1 1 1 and 0 0 0 0 if the value of a is 0 make it 1 if the value of a is 1 make it 0 now let's do for not b not b means it becomes 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 this is how you perform it value of b becomes 1 not b becomes 1 if the value of b is 0 and value of not b becomes 0 if the value of b is 1 you have to invert them that's it now let's find out the value of not a and not b it means both of these columns not a and not b will be multiplied it's an end operation between them. So let's multiply these bits. 1 into 1 is 1. 1 into 1 is 1. 1 into 0 is 0. 1 into 0 is 0. 0 into 1 is 0. 0 into 1 is 0. 0 into 0 is 0. 0 into 0 is 0. We are done with the first input value of OR gate. Now let's do for A and not B. For A and not B, you have to consider the column a and column not B and you will be multiplying both of them so let's do that 0 into 1 is 0 0 into 1 is 0 0 into 0 is 0 0 into 0 is 0 1 into 1 is 1 1 into 1 is 1. 1 into 0 is 0. 1 into 0 is 0. Once you are done with both of these inner brackets, not A and not B, and 
A and not B. So the final result will be an OR operation between both of these rows. So let's quickly add both of these rows. It's an OR operation. OR means binary addition. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. So this is your final result. Now you can see or you can match the result or the x column. We say this is the x column for both of our truth tables. So let's see that. In the above, it is 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. So let's see over here. It is 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. So we are done with activity 10.3. We have already seen that both results are same for the given two tables. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned, stay connected and do not forget to subscribe the channel. Bye-bye.